He's the first person, first vice president <laughs> that I have, I have counted on because he's the internet man. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I'm try testing this out right now, so. But the only problem about uh, the DVD or whatever you're using, uh -huh. you can't go back and see how it recorded, huh? Yeah, I can. That's what I'm going to do right now. The guys in Chicago, the Chicago bunch, all those guys, you know. That's that's fairly short. Yeah. And then, but uh, the rest of the interview, I mean, you know. So you got to give me the gist of how far back do I have to go? Because well, when we mean, start with her interview, we'll start kind of like a little bit of the history and stuff. So this kid in the tower, he he went back to when I was yeah, my first race car when I turned 16. <laughs> well, we'll go that in far. New Orleans. We'll, we'll go probably just to the start of uh, of. Uh, the LAPD and all that stuff, you know. But right now, what happened in... Coming uh, home from Vietnam. What happened at the track? This, when was that, last weekend? Uh, yeah, that was this... Uh, this Friday. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what was that? I think I should kill that fly, because that little fly is going <laughs> to be a nuisance. And, be uh, right. He's gone for now. Yeah, but no, he keeps circling. So what race did you go to this weekend? Oh, it was Labor Day. Labor Day. What race did you go to Labor Day? Labor Day. That was uh, at the Great Lakes uh, Dragway uh -huh. between Milwaukee. Are you rolling? Yeah. So oh. also, I'll let you go in the fly direction and then I'll start again. But you don't need the, this part, do you? Oh, okay. I don't know. I can't do this in my little deal, you know. And so um, the city council honored her. They sent me the certificate. They, uh, the Los Angeles City Council, they adjourned. They all stood at attention, and the city councilman got up and and uh, told her story, real short, you know, how she worked with the police department and and the city council and the elections and stuff, you know. And so, um, I'll take it and put that book together. Two weeks. Two weeks. That's so all I had was two weeks. Wow. And so, um, now let me see. Can I figure out what a fly is at at the moment? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, we start talking and uh, we'll have to probably ig totally ignore the fly. But, you know, flies, uh, they can be very, you know, they just they can come and right in the middle of the deal and land or something. We can you stop when, when the fly comes. But, uh... So you didn't tell me that it was going to be a, a, a long... We can make it longer or shorter. Uh, well, no, you know, because my story, that's it. <laughs> There's so many interesting things, you know. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to just have to ignore the fly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because right now I can't figure out where he's at. We're going to focus this that way. And then that's another thing we got, the airplane. Maybe I need to close that window. Yeah, be all right. We can just wait till they're gone. Yeah. yeah. Only every five minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we'll forget about the fly. And, uh. So, uh, when you went on Labor Day, what race did you go to? Well, actually, on Labor Day, uh, it was the Great Lakes Dragaway. And you've been there before? Yeah, the main reason because uh, Chicago is number one murder city. And they and said that they were going to do what for the street racers there? They totally dedicated their track for the street racers. And if I can pull the people from the streets of Chicago in peace and harmony, you know. And, you know, because, see, the bottom line is that, you know, since you're going to tell the story, let's start off with one important thing about it. We are in history now. See, at our track on Terminal Island, we did something that have never been done before. We used racing. Racing to stop killings. So it's not just about racing? No. That's and so we are, we're in history. And the bottom line is that in 1992, when L.A. had the rights, before we know why we were organized, 
after the ninety after the nineteen sixty five watch rides. Uh-huh. And I returned home in sixty six, it was a year after the watch rides. Uh-huh. And so the main reason we were organized by the Los Angeles Police Department was because we brought together in the watch area white, black, brown and yellow people racing. And so to the police surprise is that when they started investigating, they found out, hey, the white racers are here in Watts uh-huh. a year after the Watts riots. And so they asked the, the racers, you know, the cops came in incognito looking like they was three racers too. Yeah. So they walk up to the white racers and say, hey, uh, aren't you scared being down here? The Watts riots was just a year ago, and now you're in Watts after midnight. And uh, aren't you afraid? And and they said no, because uh, it's all about racing. They come to our neighborhood, we come to their neighborhood, and we race. And it's all about racing. And so that's when the Los Angeles Police Department got the idea of uh, let's organize this. The, the Lieutenant Frank Beeson a white lieutenant at 77 Division, which was in the middle of the watch rides, he was a racer. Mm-hmm. And he said, my racing partner is black, and he's a black lieutenant over at Wilshire Division. And so he said, uh-huh, that makes sense. Racing bring people together, and nobody really care what color you are. And so he said, well, let's, this big Willie." And the reason that I became Big Willie because of the Los Angeles Times. The Los Angeles Times did a big article on street racing in Southern California. The Valley, San Pedro, East LA, West L- West side of Los Angeles. And, uh, and in this big article in the West Magazine of the Sunday Times, out of all the pictures they had, they had one big picture there with me standing there holding the money. And the owner of the Los Angeles Times was a billionaire, Otis Chandler, and he and they called me Big Willie. Wow. And so you actually spoke at Otis Chandler's funeral. Yeah, but the main thing is that <clears throat> everybody in the city of Los Angeles read the Los Angeles Times. Yeah. And they said, you know, the police started investigating. So, into the police surprise, they saw that the majority, 50 percent of the racers in the Weiss area, were white. And so they said, wow. And so they interviewed the white racers, and, and to make a long story short, uh, they got back to Lieutenant Frank Beeson and told him, hey, the majority of the people down there are white, and they're not scared. And nothing's happening to them. They're having a good time. And Big Willie is the one that holds the money and whatever, you know, that kind of made me the, like the leader, you know. Mm-hmm. So Beeson told everybody at roll call, uh, when you catch the street racers out doing their thing, Give him my card. Give Big Willie my card. Tell him it's peaceful. We don't plan to arrest him or anything. We just want to talk to him. And so that's how it started, the organization. I got to give Frank Beeson his props, you know, because he's the one that came up with the idea. So what happened, I went in, met with Beeson, and uh, and, and Beeson said uh, that he had read my record. And he saw that uh, I was a pre-med student at UCLA, and then I had to drop out. And then I decided to, to be a Los Angeles police officer, and I waited for my appointment to the academy. And while I was waiting for my appointment to the academy, Uncle Sam drafted me into the military. And so, uh, and then I became, while I was in the military, I became Special Forces, Green Beret for the United States Army. And so that's because of President Johnson. Because Vietnam was the first integrated war. First time that you didn't have no all black units, all Asian units, you had everybody together. And and President Johnson, to my surprise, he was gun ho civil rights and he's a white Texan you know, congressman, and he wanted everything integrated. He wanted uh, blacks and browns and yellow all in special forces. So anyway, 
So I was drafted into Special Forces. And so, um, so anyway, the lieutenant had my record. And he said, you know about covert operations? Yeah, because technically we didn't exist. We were like uh, James Bond. Yes, we were trained like James Bond. Our bosses in Vietnam was the CIA. But anyway, we didn't talk about where we went. You know, we went to places that we weren't supposed to be. And normally we didn't have no idea or anything on us. But anyway, with that qualification, he said, I'm taking you downtown to uh, my partner and I are going to pick you up from your home and take you down to City Hall. And at City Hall, we met with uh, Councilman Billy Mills, Councilman Tom Bradley, uh, Police Commissioner Commissioner Hutchison. Uh, what year was this? This was still 66. Okay. It was the latter part of 66. And so, uh, okay, so we're in a big conference room at City Hall with all these different people coming in, deputies and stuff of the, you know, the, the city fathers. And, uh, and so they started talking. Okay, uh, Lieutenant Frank Beeson has an idea, and Lieutenant Frank Beeson stated his idea. Um, we have word on the streets that there might be another riot, and the 65 riots, you know, we don't want another riot because, you know, it was horrible. And everybody figured that it was the police versus the black community. And, uh, but I got an idea that Willie and his group of street racers could bring this city back together. So he said, um, now, we have Lions Drag Strip, but Lions Drag Strip is a strip of land between the city of Long Beach and Carson. Now, the city of Long Beach is right next to, to, to Lions Drag Strip, and they have uh, senior citizen housing. And, and there's no way they have a curfew. So there's no way they're going to uh, eliminate the curfew. And we need this program to go like from 11, midnight, 1, 2 in the morning, you know. And so, uh, and I had to say, wait a minute, hold it, stop the music. Let me tell you something. I am an individual street racer. I have no organization. I have, there is no organized group. We just get together as individuals and we street race. And everybody pretty much at the street races trusts me to hold the money. And that is it. So Lieutenant Frank Beeson said, okay, what we're going to do, Willie, we will put together a team for you of 100 police officers and firemen in civilian clothes. That's going to be your organization. I said, okay. So, I'm being drafted into this. Yes. And you're going to have to pretend that you are organizing this and it's you against the police department. Although you're going to have policemen and firemen working with you. And so I said, okay, I, you know, it's like I heard a little voice from God and said it was all right. Then I realized all this time I've been feeling guilty by coming home, surviving the war. And my buddies are still over there dying and, and, and losing parts of their bodies. But I come home, and I'm still in one piece. And so it dawned on me, God spared me from dying in Vietnam to come home and be Big Willie.